What's up hackers? Welcome back to the channel. Now this is Austin Code Cipher back again with a simple video. So I'd like to show you some simple website or web pages that are yeah. being developed using Bootstrap framework or library. So we're not going to be coding. I just want to show you how you can create amazing layouts and forms using Bootstrap. So it's very very easy using Bootstrap. And we also used animate so there are some few simple animation you're going to be seeing and the custom folder so but now we are having four pages we have the about page conduct page index page and register with HTML but when we put this into some real life real-time website we may change these extensions to PHP since they will be running on the server so about.php contact.php so you see what i'm talking about in the future tutorials i'll be making on this channel so let us first check this index with html so remember it's not complete so i'm just going to show you a few of the stuff that is already created so here we have a carousel slider and as you can see it slides very nice it has these three indicators meaning that there are only three images so I can even use this to move the slide or use this children allows. So that's why they are called in bootstrap classes. I don't know why. As you can see, we can now slide down. There is our background image. As I said, it's incomplete. The text you're seeing isn't real. You just put there to, yeah, to get some nice looking layouts. As you can see, our navigation is transparent. We having our brand name here, Austin Code Cipher, and the navigations on the right hand side, and they have as you can see, they have their tool tips. As you can see about page, when you go to the about page. When you go to the contact page, that's when you see the animation. So that is animate what you're seeing here, animate.css. That's what is working on the page right now. So it enables this form to slide in from the left and the social networks to slide in from the right. As you can see, we can now, the social networks have tabs and these tabs fade in. As you can see, as I say, it's incomplete. We are just using text to give it some good layout. And here we are having the contact page and it's having this alert. Warning, this form is not functioning by now. You will be alerted as soon as it goes into full operation. So thanks. When a user reads this, you will be able even to click this X. And the alert will disappear, but it will keep on appearing when the page is refreshed so yeah as i said it's a ui there is no sending email or messages to the servers now let's go to the register page as you can see they are having these graphicons the ones you normally call icons so when you go to the register page as you can see we are again having some animation on this registration form word h1 as you can see it slides down so that's a very very simple and as you can see our form is fairly nice looking form so inside here we are having the bootstrap grid system that enabled these to sit side by side so here we are using a grid system and for the email there is nothing like a grid system on it and again we use a grid system of six by six columns and a nice looking button of register now with a class of btn block that enabled it to stretch out like this so in case we create a login page we shall be able to put here an hyper reference so that a user can click there and it redirects him or her to the login page in case he or she is already connected or registered with your site so this is a very 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 simple web page or website created using bootstrap and as you can see yeah it's fairly nice looking you having these 
simple functions like the tool tips these are come and see yeah this is about page and it will only work when the tab is active or the navigation bar is active so as you can see on home we are having nothing but when you enter home and go to it it will bring that tool tip so guys that's what i wanted to show you please subscribe to this channel like the video share it on different social medias and in case you like the code for this website let me know in the comments below i will do email you different layouts because i know many people will be asking for the same page but you know it won't look nice when everybody has the same work so i'll make sure i create a lot of templates layouts for you guys to be using peace subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the future tutorials oh guys what i forgot to tell you this website is also responsive on mobile devices sorry for that as i can see here i'm having this mobile browser emulator i can test my website on different font sizes so as you can see we are having a title they are having most android phones so this is for the most android phones the first one is for iphone 5 let us test it on iphone 5 so that's how the contact form will be looking on an iphone 5 let's create this cross that and if you are to notice this our navigation bar now has turned into a hamburg menu as you can see on the desktop it's displayed and when you reach the screen sizes it comes into this hamburg form so the user will now get this navigation bar so let us navigate through the home as you can see we have a nice looking page and our slide still works our indicators also work you can scroll down very nice you can go to the about page and everything will be nice as you can see still even our table is very nice so that's the beauty with the bootstrap you may find if you are to use html and you are not good with html and css you may find your table overriding the edges of the container parent container so with bootstrap that is solved so guys as you can see we are having a nice looking website even on phones as you can see our nice animation on the registration form and yeah when it's squeezed they all become one column so those grid system will automatically scale for that device now let us test it on the size of most android phones so i'm sorry for the noise in case you hear a baby praying in the background so this is how it is on the size of most android phones these are our tabs by default you see the current one facebook twitter and you see the text will fade in according to the page so you can go ahead and put your content inside these tabs now this is how it will be looking on iphone 6 And yeah, this is how it will be looking on iPhone 6. I guess, yeah, you have seen that it's very responsive. So guys, once again, subscribe to the channel. Peace. I'm out.